Papa. <laughs> my wife, my mother, is really angry because uh, my wife got her bags. But I love my wife. They don't like getting them. <laughs> Baka means means <laughs> means idiot. So I'm getting. Um, I came home. I just got my wife off, and she does so much for me. I mean, what the heck? Come and get her bags and take a bag. Why would I bitch about that? You know, I got an awesome wife. Let me tell you about my wife. I want to tell you some stories about her and why she's so amazing. And this is why I encourage everyone to marry a, you know, Japanese or Asian or Korean or just don't marry a Western woman. Don't wear, marry English. Don't marry, I mean, I don't know, I'd marry South American. I, wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't marry American. Um, definitely wouldn't. I'm sorry if you're an American woman and you're looking at this. Sorry, you're, you're, you know, you're broken. And it's not your fault, okay? I don't think it's your fault at all. Um, but let me tell you about my wife, okay? This is why my wife is the fucking most amazing woman in the world, all right? So, it is funny because she's the only woman I've ever, I've ever met that I didn't choose, right? She was chosen for me, and that's probably the best thing about, you know, everything was I didn't choose her, because I obviously have the worst fucking taste, and, and every woman that I've ever met has ended up just fucking me over, and uh, maybe I deserve it, but whoever. And I think, you know, I think it stands. I know why, because my, when my, my um, parents were divorced when I was five, my mom left, and all I knew was abandonment. So love to me was an was a, was a image of abandonment. So, um, you know, so I would always pick women that ultimately would abandon me, or I'd push them away. So I came to Japan in 2004 because of a really bad relationship end. I was dating this attorney in Boston called Laura, Laura G, and a beautiful Latina woman. I just was so much in love with her. And um, my father had a stroke. My life turned upside down. My job turned upside. Promotion, you know, it was just it was just, it was horrid. It's like my friend Charles right now. And um, she ended up dumping me, and it was just, it, I thought, I mean, I thought she was the woman I was going to grow old with and die with, and, and, um, and I thought love was stronger than that, but the moment, you know, it got tough, she was gone. So that's why, I, I'll be honest, that's why I came to Japan, to be honest. It wasn't because I, you know, knew the market was going to crash or anything else. I was just done, I was done with American society. I've been there for, since 1998. I've lived in America, and uh, it just hasn't done anything for me, you know. Um, I figured I needed to change, I needed to get out, I needed to get away, so, and I also had a dream, I had this dream six months before we broke up, that I was married to a Japanese woman, and had kids, and she was beautiful, and everything else, and, um, you know, and I remember telling Laura that, dr that dream, and laughing, because it just seemed so absurd, absurd to me, but in hindsight, hell, it just, it was true, I mean, I, I, and I, it was so long, I can't remember the woman, but I'm pretty sure it was her, it was, uh, my sweetie. Um, Katsuko, PK, Princess Katsuko is what I call her, PK. PK because I'm a gamer and PK means player killer, right? And she's a player killer. She freaking killed me. So, anyway, back to my wife. You know, when we dated, this is what I think dated, I always tell people, it's like, you know, when we dated, um, it, she was the only woman I've ever dated in my life that paid for everything. She insisted. She was like, no, 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 it's my job. And she had really bad English back then. She could barely speak English was probably another good thing. You know, don't, you know, dating, dating uh, an, a woman who doesn't have the nuanced command of the English language that reads innuendos and other things into everything you fucking say is a blessing because communication then becomes black and white, right? You, and you can, you know, you, you, it's like, this is what I say, this is what I mean, right? There's no, oh, you said this, and you meant that bullshit. I mean, that doesn't exist in my relationship. Even now, at my wife's command, command of English, that doesn't exist. And I tell you, that's a beautiful thing. Because half the time, you know, people are, are thinking and reading into what you say, which is complete bullshit. And that can't happen if you're in a relationship where the woman doesn't have the natural command of the English language. Now, maybe you want to have me with someone that can give you that that vibrant intellectual conversation, well, you know, do that online with some, 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 some friend, you know, or whatever, um, you know, but ultimately, I mean, how many of you really, who are married, who have a wife, you sit down and talk about, you know, the origin of life, or, or the meaning of life, or, you know, or, 
uh, I don't know, um, the, the relationship of uh, Nietzsche and Christianity and as it, as it, as it, as it, as it you know, as it relates to um, Western society. I mean, I don't know how many people go into that sort of discourse. So, anyway, so that was what I mean, my, and it blew me away, right? The second thing was, uh, it was funny though, when we started, you know, all of a sudden, it stopped, right? I remember it stopped, you know, I was like, and I didn't, you know, I, I noticed, it was like, wait, 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 I'm paying for everything now. This was after about a year, I don't know, but maybe not quite a year, about eight months of dating, all right? So, um, I was like, honey, I say, you know, I remember it wasn't too long ago, you're paying for everything. And she just, you know, she just kind of looked at me, like in a serious look. She goes, I caught you. So, again, there's no cars. All right, don't worry about me driving. There's no fucking cars on the road. I mean, there are never any cars on the road where I live in Japan. I live in bumfuck Egypt, rural Japan. So there are no coals. There's just rice paddy. You know, there's a little truck there. There's a speed car there. So there, um, I can look at the, ca the camera a little bit. So um, back on to uh, PK. So, you know, and the, the, I tell you, the moment that clenched it was this. And this is... Yeah, this was this is a really funny moment. So it was uh, I think it was like it was 2004 and Shadow Bane. Maybe it was 2005. Maybe I think it was 2005. And Shadow Bane launched its beta. And Shadow Bane had been a game that we've been waiting for for at least three years, three four years, right? Uh, it was a massive multiplayer game. It was built for PVP. You know, it was all one on one. It was built by gamers and. Originally, it was called Chaos, and, you know, it was just, it was like, it, it, since UO, which came out in, in you know, basically uh, 1999, 98, 99, and this was, yeah, so 99, and, you know, pretty much a year after UO, they were talking about it, and they wanted to make a really hardcore game. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. So, it came out, they happened to come out on something called Golden Week, which is a week off holiday, and I was teaching back then. So, uh, what happened, what I decided, you know, while well, we've been planning, I was like, cool, so, yeah, and I been, understand, I've been seeing PK every day, um, you know, pretty much every day, you know, sex in the car, sex everywhere, it's just like, you know, it's like, I couldn't, she would never, you know, it was just crazy, right, we didn't have a place, so, you know, and I actually, back then, I was, I was actually, um, uh, at my boss's house, so it was like, well, my boss wasn't there, we were, you know, having Nikki. So, um, and it was awesome. And we, oh, oh, whoa, 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 I should say the first time we ever had Nookie, all right? The, the, uh, the first time, it was a Saturday, and I've got the date, <coughs> but there were two big earthquakes, right? And neither of us felt them, obviously, right? So, everyone was like, the next video, I was like, oh, are you okay? Are you fine? The earthquakes? Yada, yada. I said, what earthquakes? <laughs> I was, I always joke with, with, um, PK, like, we shouldn't have, uh, you know, we shouldn't have Nikki too much because otherwise all of Japan is going to fall down. Um, you know, we're dangerous. So, um, so I'm playing this game, and I, and I realized it was like three days into that I hadn't called her, I hadn't called nothing, she didn't know about it. It's kind of, I just dropped the cold turkey, right? And, um, you know, she called me, and I was like, oh, I'm busy, I'm playing game with my friends, yada, yada, you know, I think, and that was it. Um, so... All of a sudden, I'm like lamenting to my friends, I'm a gamer, I'm a loser, you know, she's going to see this, to, uh, you know, and, and then she's just going to dump me, right? She's going to see I'm a gamer, because every woman in the world hates gaming, right? 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 Every woman. I mean, if you play your Wii or anything else, if you want to go play your fantasy football, your wife, your girlfriend's all up your butt about it, right? She's like, wow, well, you're a loser, but if they want to go shopping for eight hours, oh, that's not loser. That's not loser, man. Oh, let's go shopping for eight hours. Let's get up in the morning and we're going to go to the mall. We're going to get lunch. We're just going to, like, look, look, look all day long. So, so I'm there playing. You know, I hadn't showered. You know, there was just, there was McDonald's boxes everywhere because McDonald's was down the street. And I just went and got that food, right, fast food. I was hungry. Empty things, just nasty. You just imagine, you know, five days into 24-7, you know, gaming. Um... So I hear this little knock, and I was, it was funny because I was just lamenting to my friends that oh, I was going to find someone else. I hear this knock, I turn around, her head pops down the door, hey, and I go, hey, she doesn't talk like that, but, you know, it's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm just playing with my buddies. Oh, okay. I go, I go, I said, you know, she goes, okay, well, call me when you get done, you know. Uh, maybe I didn't call her, you know, okay. 
I go, yeah, okay, I'll do that. All right, okay, bye, bye. I didn't even get up out of my chair. I didn't even get up out of my chair. She looked in, she got it, and I went right back to it, right? And um, I was like, the moment, the moment she was gone, I mean, she was walking down the stairs, I was like, holy shit, you guys wouldn't believe what just happened. I'm marrying her. I'm marrying her. She's amazing. Yeah, but I haven't touched the game now. I mean, I've played a little bit of Eve and stuff, but I really haven't touched the game in so long. It's kind of funny. So, I'm no longer a gamer. <laughs>